finally here. It's October 2nd. This is my first set in the deer stand for the year. Uh, just got back yesterday from a almost two and a half week trip out to Colorado looking for elk and bear. So after doing a whole lot of hiking, some close encounters, it's nice to finally be able to just uh, sit in a tree, relax, and let the animals come to me. So sitting over a small food plot I put in just before I left to check the trail cam's been having a lot of deer coming into it each evening so we'll sit here till till dark and see if we can't put one in the freezer so stay tuned let's see what happens here we go it's the morning of October 3rd we're down in this little hoop draw here this morning Seems like the deer have been just going crazy over these oak nuts this year. It's my first time out this year. Didn't quite have everything ready, but we're in the stand. We're going to make it happen. I think Brian's out this morning, but JJ and Travis and Mike, they all slept in. So hopefully Brian and I will get her done this morning. Stick with us.
So after this shot, very confused. I mean, uh, that doe I missed in last week's episode, I shot over top of her. Thought I knew why. Thought I had something figured out. Shot right over top of this doe too. And it was, oh geez, this was still like a half hour before sunset. But the tree I was in had such a canopy and it was starting to rain and clouds were really coming in that it was getting pretty dark out. And I remember when I pulled my ball up and drew back, I really had trouble seeing my pins. There were no colors to my pins. It was all just dark, dark pins. And I remember putting all the pins above her back so I could see them and then bringing them down onto her. And I focused on one of my pins. I was like, there it is. Okay, right above the heart, and I shot. Didn't register much at that point, but I can still, right now, close my eyes and picture my pins on her, and I use my 40-yard pin on a 20-yard shot. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I was staring at that pin when I brought that down onto her. I knew it was a 20-yard shot. I had no clue what I was doing. No fever must have just really overtook me there. And I mean, embarrassing, but I'm going to tell you, things happen, and that happened, and I'm just very grateful that I didn't wound an animal, on the, that I didn't wound her on the shot. I'm really glad I clean missed. So, the days following, I would be, I decided to stay off those food plots and head into the acorn stand. Well. It's October 4th, just got up in the stand. Um, afternoon hunt, I had to work all day, so I'm getting out this afternoon, hunting a different spot. Actually, I shot a couple does up, or a doe up here a couple years ago, so we're gonna give this a spot a try. I know there's a couple bucks up here. I just put cameras out on the way in, so it's kind of a scouting trip, but we're definitely gonna shoot a doe if we see one, or a nice buck if we see one. Who knows, anything's possible. No one's been in this area all year. It's the first hunt. So we're sitting at a little pinch point right on the edge of some woods. So hopefully some deer funnel through here and go to the bigger field. Walk right by us at 20 yards and we'll get a nice shot at it. It will be quick. You can't see much leaves on, but at least we can see where they're coming from and going and move from there if we got to. But hopefully we see a nice doe tonight. Put the smack down on her. Stay with us.
she was done pretty quick. And I don't think that she winded me there. This morning I had one definitely with me, but today I made sure I put out the antler ice vanilla dough. <clears throat> and every time in the past, when the dough smell that, they just stop and they want to go searching for it. And I think that's what she was doing because I watched the video. She wasn't on edge like nervous. She had her ears normal. She wasn't stomping. She wasn't high stepping. She was just walking, searching for that vanilla dough. And she found a broad head. Well, I got her all loaded up. Everyone else is sitting at home eating dinner. Garlic bread, ravioli. JJ's probably sitting in a recliner. And uh, some of us are out here uh, doing work. Okay, here she is. First deer of the season. It's a little bit of a bumpy road to to get to this point and get, or get, get one on the ground, but we got that out of our way and hopefully from here on we can start building forward and get this season rolling and uh, getting some more deer down. I'm very excited about this one. Um, I love trying to take a doe first thing with my bow every year. And today was just a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Started out a little breezy. I was back in the acorn stand and uh, I don't know why I can't stop saying acorn. I mean to say acorn, <laughs> I still just keep saying acorn because everyone wants to talk like, you know, anyways. So I was back in the acorn stand and uh, I was back there this morning. Pretty sure this dog came through. She was just wandering through there munching on acorns all morning for about an hour and a half. Never got close enough. Tonight she came through um, behind some leaves, snuck right in on me. She was 20 yards away before I even saw her. And she, I'm pretty sure she got a, a whiff of that vanilla dough, antler ice, vanilla dough urine that I had out. And the reason I say that is she was gone, and as soon as she got close to my tree, all of a sudden you could see her sniffing, and she kind of went into search mode of what is that, and she turned broadside for me. And uh, we put her down. So, first deer of the year for DeerHunterFan.com TV. Very excited, as I said, and uh, now I'm going to take her home, and I know the kids are excited to see her too. So next on the on the docket now is to try to find a buck. Uh, there's still that eight point. I don't have many trail cam pictures of them, but just a few. And the ten point is dead. My neighbor took that ten point last night. Uh, I believe he was also hunting in some some heavy acorn area. So that's the spot to be right now. Anyone who hunts where there is acorns knows that that those those couple weeks when the acorns are falling hard just leave the food plots go get in on on those acorns uh, when that's done do what you gotta do move where the deer move and uh, you'll always be in the deer so i didn't miss that one <laughs> right through the top of her shoulder blade when i got her home i got her all caped out and everything i could actually see the damage that broadhead did going through that shoulder blade crippling to say the least as you saw it was a very crippling shot and um, on the shot I did hurry up put a second arrow in her. She was laying there. I had no idea if I hit her too high and just got spine or if I hit her in there and it got high lungs. If the animal's there and you have the chance for a second shot, always take the second shot. Don't risk anything, especially with a bow, because if she was to move just a little bit, I would have lost a second shot. I wouldn't have had a second shot on her. And then depending on what the first shot was, you know, it could cause problems. So if you have a second shot, always take the second shot. And don't hesitate on it. I was very happy to get that doe. Very blessed to get that many opportunities in less than a handful of days, actually. But checking the trail cams um, a few days later after I hunted over by Splitsy Ridge in a new stand my father and I just put up on Sunday night, the eight point was out in the north food plot, the food plot where I missed that doe with Paige, the food plot that I'm going to hunt tonight. So We'll see where that leads, and this is the lead-in for that hunt. And I think I'm going to be hunting that food plot in the evenings anytime the wind permits it. For a while here now, especially 
that buck was was in that food plot just on, just after the camera triggered infrared. So he comes out a little early, we'll get a shot at him, and uh, that's a plan. Tonight it's it's cool, breezy, and in fact, right now the way the the wind is doing exactly the opposite. Down. Cool, breezy, but a nice night. So hopefully we see some deer out in that food plot. God, it's the cutest little kitty in the world. It's the cutest little kitty in the world.